All right, so this is the headline from Variety. Anna Diarmas fan lawsuit puts studio at risk over deceptive trailers. So if you didn't know this, uh, I'll just read for a bit from the article, an excerpt. Two Anna Diarmas fans filed a lawsuit in January alleging that they'd rented the movie yesterday after seeing Diarmas in the trailer, only to discover she was cut out of the final film. The studio's lawyer argued that the trailer is an artistic expressive work that tells a three-minute story conveying the theme of the movie and should not be considered and should thus be considered, sorry, commercial speech. But the U.S. District Judge Stephen Wilson sought to address the concern, saying the false advertising laws uh, only apply when a significant portion or reasonable consumers could be misled, which is what has happened here. And so these these two are fans of Anna Diarmas. They are requesting the uh, the price of their rental, which is $5 million. <laughs> <laughs> they want five million dollars. They seek, yeah. So they it pa- says they are seeking at least five million dollars yeah. as representatives of a class of movie customers. Does that mean they're going to split it, it with split? people? It doesn't seem. I like saw they are. that movie. Do I get some of that yeah. money? In that case, yeah, yeah. Get get to suing. Let's get us drink some more eggnog in celebration of this thing we're going to win. Mm. Uh, so yeah, they paid three. Oh, wait, I haven't seen this movie. Who hasn't? I haven't seen it. Just say yeah. That's too late, but I could rent it now yeah. and watch it. Well, that's funny you say that. So they play. Because I'm looking at this. Yeah. I'm looking at this, and there's a there's a screen grab. Yeah, and there's Anna Diarmas. She's in the movie. She's in the movie. I should rent it now. So it, they paid three ninety nine. But the other thing is, they've kept this trailer. They haven't changed it. So they've just let it ride. Okay. And people have been saying, well, what does this mean for? Movie trailers, like we've seen Infinity War, for example, had them all running towards the camera and that's a scene that is not in the movie. (laughs) That's true. There's a number of times they'll edit out things, like in the Spider-Man trailer, they edit out the different Mm Spider-Men. Sometimes an actor will... I, what like DC, they just change the whole movie. That's true, They've changed the whole movies like Uh time and time again. So what does that... What does that mean for any of that? And this seems like a very specific and misleading situation. I mean, look, I... Because they didn't remove it. They just left it in. Yeah, sure, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it's... I I feel like this will get overruled by a judge that isn't an odd character. Okay, yeah, an odd character. I don't know anything about this guy, but... Yeah. I don't know, mate. Yeah, it's... it's, That is... is, Because like that, I feel like that is the cornerstone of a... Mm. Of a, you know, a movie trailer is that it's... The timing is such, you know, between the trailer coming out and the movie coming out that oftentimes there isn't enough time yeah. to give an updated trailer, you know, when... Yeah, when and the, often, like, the footage that goes out, it's just, this like, is early stupid. stuff. This lawsuit is stupid. It is stupid. But, you know, it's not wrong in terms of, like, it was deceptive. She's not in it. Mm-hmm. But is she five? Is it $5 million worth of deception? I don't know. Let's find out, I guess. Yeah, yeah but... And I, my, that, I guess my question there is... If you rent a, or buy a movie or go to a movie theater expecting one particular person, yeah, and they're not in it, mm. is that worth a full refund? I think at the time, probably sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I think that's, I think that would be reasonable. Five million dollars is obviously not reasonable. <laughs> uh-huh. I feel in in this situation. Mm. I mean, who's? Uh, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of anybody enough to do this. Right, sure. Like, I think everybody involved yeah, in this yeah. is just. But I, I saw some people suggesting then all movie trailers need to do is just at the end just put a little disclaimer that said like, "Oh, this is a." Yeah, actually, all the Sp- a, actually all the Spider Men are in this. Yeah, this isn't represent- every trailer. Should yeah. say that. all the Spider Men are in this. So. That could also get them in trouble, oh, Mason. No. But it could say this isn't necessarily representative of the That's final. True, whatever. Yeah. You know, when they'll do a be, be a cleaning product and they're like, a duck won't really clean your yeah, toilet yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Sure, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, and there's no spider man. This trailer may cause erectile dysfunction. Yeah, I guess a, a, uh, the only example I could think of where I was, I don't even know mad, but more just kind of confused was the the thing in um that terrible Fantastic Four. Oh, when he leaps from a plane, whatever, and you yeah. think he's going to do a big a big battle. Mm-hmm. But even then, after seeing that movie, I'm like, it's just a bad movie. Who cares? Yeah. So you know, anyway, we'll find. But out. I mean, you could also think there's probably still time. To sue the producers of Fantastic Four. Didn't even think about that. For that, that Mason. but also everything else they produce there. Just <laughs> all the, the Fantastic all Four the fa- movies. Yeah, you could sue them all in a bunch. <laughs> oh my god, it could, is that is that a, what a class action lawsuit is? Sure, you sue a bunch of movies. God, a lot of stress. Mm. A lot of stress, Mason. Mm. 
mm. to willingly put yourself through this. But you know what? Good on it. Good on everybody involved in this. They're <laughs> Good all on heroes. Good on Under the Armors? Sure. <laughs> okay, right. They're all heroes. Mm. This is from Forbes Mason. Because I guess the, the premise would have been. Because in just, the, just to be clear, what Mason is saying is not from Forbes. No, like this he, is... he cut into what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. just him saying some direct. Go on. But if, if literally any word I say is also in this Forbes article, <laughs> you are in a lot of trouble, my friend. Because I'll sue you for infringement, <laughs> mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Sue I th- me or Forbes? Both. Okay. I'm going to do one of those class action lawsuits <laughs> where I sue you both. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought now. Something about, uh, like, the, I, as I understand it, the, the premise was that in the movie, the main character is married or has a partner or something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. and then he meets. He's got a it, love interest in Lily right. James, yeah, yeah. So, and and Anna Diarmas was meant to be like someone who sort of tempts him out of his relationship, kind of thing. So they cut it out because it was like, yeah, they, you know, it was a it's a feel good movie, and they don't want him to see him, you know, be be morally bankrupt or whatever. Yeah. So you know, credit to credit to Anna Diarmas that they were like, there's no way this guy wouldn't leave his wife for Anna Diarmas. <laughs> It's not even his wife, it's his school teacher friend or whatever who oh. always supports his music. Okay. It's a fun Richard Curtis whatever kind of, and is they it, use is all it, the... Is it really a Richard Curtis? It movie? is a Richard Curtis. I no, think... it is, but uh, I... have you read that article? What's that? Uh, what's that? He didn't, he didn't write it. Who wrote it? But then? he purchased He purchased the oh, script. Oh, we, we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, we have. We, he purchased the script with the proviso that he has the sole writing credit on it. Damn. Yeah. I should do that. Yeah, right? I wonder if it's I can do it for movies I've already watched. Mm-hmm. I'm responsible for Fantastic Four 2015. I will take full credit. Oh, you are getting on this <laughs> class action lawsuit, buddy. Danny Boyle directed it. And it was also nominated for the Teen Choice Award for the Summer Movie Star. Wow. One of the, yeah. Oh, there you go. For the best under the armor scene. <laughs> they'd, uh, they'd already purchased the award <laughs> before she was cut. There's a lawsuit waiting to happen. This is from Forbes, Mason, and maybe from you if it's some of your words. Starting in 2023, Netflix will ask those who share passwords to pay a little extra. Mm. The streaming platform has already tested this as a $3 add-on in some countries. So basically, if you're password sharing at the moment, which you are, everybody is. There is one (laughs) Netflix account and everybody uses it. that's right, yes. Uh, So they're trying – they've trialed a new thing where if you add an extra person, it's $3 and then uh, they can use it and and, – you, whatever, you know, which oh. I think is not unreasonable. And according to Mac Rumors, around 200... <laughs> What's he got to say about this? It says around... I love this guy. 222 million... He's shaped like a big moon. <laughs> and he tells you... He's in the sky and he tells you all the rumors. His head would be, what, like, not the moon. It would be like one of those old fluoro Macs, you know? Yeah, okay, sure, sure. What do you think of that? And his face is I like... I love it, yes. Like a digital... And he's like, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of rumors. I don't want to live. <laughs> It's not circuits, it's just paper. It's just paper jammed in my head. <laughs> Handwritten notes um, around two, 222 million paying households share passwords with an additional 100 million households that Netflix wants to monetize. So apparently it's worth, like if they pull this off, it's worth something like $750 million a year for them or one red notice mm. to, <laughs> to make this. I mean, this is just another fascinating piece of business. <laughs> From Netflix, a company yeah. that is insanely bad at business, but has <laughs> just got them. They got the momentum early mm. and have just, uh, they haven't lost it yet. First yeah. of all, they lost a bunch. There was like millions earlier this year in people and subscribers. I bet they did. Yeah. I mean, make all, good movies, maybe. And the, look, first of all, uh, I reckon every time they've added five bucks to the price of Netflix, they should have just let you share your password with somebody else. And I think at this point, we're all up to like, Six extra people or something like that. Um, yeah, that's true. And also, there's that ad. You it's can, like twenty five bucks now. Yeah, it's the most you can do the one. you can do the ad some ad supported option or whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have your own or do you share? Actually, no, I have my own. I have my own. We should share. Oh, we can't because of this thing that's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's right. That sucks for us. Right. <laughs> uh, so yeah. But, but secondly, uh, I I feel like this is similar to like piracy, movie piracy. Yeah, not piracy in the high seas. But maybe a little bit. Sure. But um, we're going to make the CEO of Netflix walk the plank. That's fun. But also people who are sharing an account, it's it's people who are not necessarily they they they're not gonna they're not they're not gonna pay for Netflix in its entirety anyway. No. So maybe even three bucks is too much. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might be right. You oh, might man. be like, hey man, um, we, we're going to keep you on, but could you um, could you chip in three bucks a month? And they're like, no. See you later. But if it was like. My parents or whatever, I'll be uh-huh. like, yeah, I'll pay for it, whatever. Uh-huh. Like so, but yeah. if it was like somebody I like a mate, I'd be like, no, I'm not paying for your Netflix. 
you dirt bag. <laughs> you work at a bank. Use your banking money to use, do... use the big bank money. Yeah. Just take some of the big bank money out of Fucking the vault. Sell out fuck, I will yeah, say. That's right. <laughs> In fact, get me some of the money out of the vault. I've got a gun. <laughs> And this is a robbery now. Oh, we're just catching up for a drink at the pub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wait here with a gun. You go get me that money. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is not surprising. I know it, 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 it needed to happen, but also it needs to be simple because if it's not, people will just start pirating again. Yep. And that, that's how it goes. But again, every decision they make, I'm staggered. There hasn't been a mass exodus. And I think it's just because it's easy to it's, not. It's just easy to not. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's just and it's and they have that first mover advantage where everybody's like, Yeah, got Netflix. Yeah. I'll drop Disney Plus or whatever. I'll drop whatever. Yeah. But they're like, Oh, I can't can't leave Netflix because Stranger Things. Yeah. There's gonna Eventually. be another there's gonna be another season of Stranger Things in two years, probably. <laughs> so I can't I can't God, you uh, can't miss that, can that's you? That's right. My goodness. So yeah, there you go. 